Hello. Today I want to talk to you a little bit about GitLab and HashiCorp Vault and what a new addition to GitLab is doing to help enable that. So I'm going to start by um, highlighting the documentation page um, that's also got a nice example built into it. And then we're going to walk through the project and look at a pipeline that's taking advantage of this. So in, um, in a recent version of GitLab, 12.10 I think, um, GitLab has enabled a JSON web token as part of each CI job in its environmental variables. So what does that do for us? Well, that allows GitLab runner to be able to authenticate back to a vault server without having a pre-positioned password that uses the on-demand generated JSON web token to be able to uh, authenticate to vault and then based on the policy written, download or access the secrets made available. So this is a nice uh, example here. I'm gonna show you the one that, uh, that I wrote in my project. And so I'm gonna jump over to my vault demo project here um, and give you a little quick tour of the code and then we're gonna look at some CI output. Um, so this is at uh, gitlab.com slash bdowney slash vault demo. Um, and it's a public project, so you can take a look at this. Um, let's take a look at a few things here. Um, first off, we're gonna look at the GitLab CI file to see what's gonna happen. And I've got two jobs here. I've got a simple job and a complex job. So the simple job uses the vault uh, Docker image as its base image. So that means vault is gonna come pre-installed and easy to access. I'm going to run a vault status uh, just to make sure that the server is up and also log that into my CI log. Then I'm going to access the token using the authentication uh, JWT login method. And I'm gonna pass along the, the environmental variable that was given to me um, when Docker, uh, when the GitLab runner was, um, was uh, fired up. And then we're going to uh, use the vault CLI to get a key value from the infrastructure demo path. And the, uh, the key is called uh, demo name. And we're gonna do that again for uh, demo name, which it looks like there's a typo there. Should be demo domain. Maybe we can fix that. And from the same path, then we're gonna run uh, a test script here. This test script is a loop. We'll look at that in a second. And then we're going to uh, pull the secret again at the very end uh, just to make sure uh, to, to see what happens. Um, we actually expect this to fail because when we do, when we pull our token, this token is only good. It's got a TTL of 60 seconds. So while we're able to save the values of it um, into our own environmental variables and keep those, um, we will not be able to, after 60 seconds, get any more uh, tokens or get any more secrets using this token without renewing it. Um, so I'm going to try to pull a secret again one more time here at the bottom, and uh, we're going to see that. I've got this or true here just to make sure that the CI job um, uh, gets a nice pretty green check mark, but we'll see the error. In the complex job, um, I'm using uh, HashiCorp Terraform as the base image here. And um, the reason I'm doing that is uh, a lot of times building infrastructure is going to need a lot of secrets and we want to use the Terraform pre-installed image um, to run it. And that actually does not come with a vault um, uh, client uh, in, this, in this Terraform light image. So what are we going to do? We're going to, um, we're going to execute this before script and I'm using a little YAML um, trick here to go and pull that from up here. Um, I'll step through that in a second. And then we're going to uh, use this vault run command, um, which is an alias, to run our same test script. And then we're going to, after that's complete, we're going to try to pull that secret again. And then this one should pass because um, we're going to use that vault run to, uh, to renew, our uh, renew our secret. So our secret, our policy is good for uh, 60 seconds for the token, but it's renewable up to one hour but you have to renew it. 
So what does the before script look like? Um, essentially what it looks like is um, we're gonna get curl and JQ to be able to, um, to go out and pull data from the vault server and then parse it nicely uh, in JSON format. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna ask for the seal status, um, so we're basically getting a, a vault uh, status here. Um, we're gonna install ENV console. You can read a little bit more about that um, on their page. It's also linked from the README in here. Um, so we're gonna install ENV console, um, the latest image from their uh, from their release pages. Uh, we're gonna just do a quick uh, sum. Uh, uh, on this to make sure that what we download is actually what we expect in the checksum matches. Um, extract that and then install it um, into a user local bin. Uh, and then we're gonna do the same request of token using cur uh, for our base token uh, using curl. So we're gonna do a curl and we're gonna request uh, a, using our JWT token from the environmental variable from auth JWT login. It's the same as the vault login command. Then we're going to take that token and we're gonna put that into uh, the vault token environmental variable. Uh, we're gonna take the assessor, which is just a reference to the token without the actual secret. Um, we're gonna put that into its own environmental variable. Um, we're actually gonna echo out the assessor. So if you need to do any troubleshooting, you can see uh, what that token was good for um, and also find it in the audit logs. Uh, do a little quick check to make sure that we got our token okay. And uh, if so, we're gonna create this alias here and um, we're gonna use env console. We're gonna pass it a config file that's in our .vault directory. Um, and so we don't have to type this out every time. So vault run is now aliased to env console config vault console. So let's take a look at those two files. So in my .vault, my EMV console here. Um, my configuration basically says uh, uh, validate SSL, <clears throat> yes, um, yes, retry, yes, renew the token. Here's the max number of times. We're gonna convert any secrets that we get to uppercase because it's a convention for moving them into environmental variables. And uh, we want the same path, the secret infrastructure demo path. And uh, we want to make sure that our sub process doesn't receive, doesn't have access to those um, environmental variables that have the sensitive information in it. So that's our configuration. And then looking at our actual test script here, very simple, just a loop that's going to echo out demo name and demo domain. And I have a feeling that it's because uh, of that typo, we're going to get the same value twice. And let's take a look at what this looks like in CI. Okay. <clears throat> so I've got my complex and my simple. Let's take a look at the simple here. And I'll scroll back up to the top here. We've got, um, we've got our vault status being run and we can see that we've got uh, an unsealed uh, vault cluster. We are getting the vault token, the name and the domain. And then we run our test script. Remember, I have a small typo here. I'm getting the, the same key value pair for the domain. Um, and then we're gonna echo that out. Name is Brad, domain is Brad. That should say something else. We got the secret correct. And then at the very bottom here, after that executes 15 times, which there's a 10 second delay here. Um, so that's about 150 seconds. Uh, we're going to try to pull that again, but we know our token expired. So um, we're going to pull that token here and then we're going to get the error we expected that permission is denied. Our token is expired. And that's it. So that's our simple. Let's look at our complex demo here. Um, so we're going to get our uh, HashiCorp Terraform Lite as our base image. We're going to install curl and JQ. Uh, we're gonna check our seal status. We're not sealed, so that's great. Um, then we're gonna download the, um, the binaries that we need, EMB console, and we're going to get our, to our original token and our assessor. Um, so our vault assessor is this. 
and so we can do troubleshooting if we need to and <clears throat> we're going to do a vault run test shell and this time we're going to echo 15 times and we've got the the name and the domain and the same ttl applies so we actually had a renewal happen in this process here um, we're going to so we're going to try to test that we're going to pull that secret again we're going to use vault run and we want to see what environmental variables come down um, it looks like we've got demo name and demo domain without an error, without an authentication error. So we were able to uh, renew our lease on our token um, up to the maximum of 60 minutes. Um, this all ran in uh, just under three minutes here. So this is my demo of, uh, of Vault. Oh, I have one more thing to show just, to, just for good practice here. I wanna show you that we're not passing any secrets into this. So if I go to the project, I can see that the variables that I have in this project, this is simply the vault address and I can show this here. This is the HTTP address of the vault server and that's it. I don't have any tokens passing down here that comes automatically from GitLab through the JWT. And I don't have any app role passwords uh, or IDs in here. So there's no static passwords in here. This is all on demand and um, authenticated with, uh, with very short time to lives. Thank you very much. Have a great day.